Well, there's no way around it. Um, any m moderate to high level of UV exposure will age you. Th that's the easiest thing. You can see twins that one has not exposed their skin to light or has smoked. You can see the massive difference even in identical twins. So th there's really, it's not a debate. It's just a fact that if you burn your skin or even expose it to moderate levels, uh, you will age. And probably you're accelerating your epigenetic age of your skin uh, through DNA damage, which we've shown does accelerate the clock. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty simple. You can you can get a spray tan if you want. That's that's safer. Or what I do is I, I just have low levels of UV exposure. I mean, you can tell that I don't spend a lot of time in the sun and that's, that's voluntary. Uh, I do spend some time in the summer out. You know, I, I do like to do a bit of water sports, uh, but I'm always covered in, um, in sunscreen, uh, in safe sunscreens. And uh, I'm even developing a new sunscreen uh, with one of my companies that uh, is uh, in collaboration with NASA. But that's maybe a different story for another podcast time. But um, bottom line is don't get burnt because your body will get overwhelmed, your sirtuins will get distracted, move around, and you will age. Um, and that's very hard to reverse. We don't have the technology yet to reverse that, though we are working on it. I mean, the, the bottom line is that there, there are a bunch of chemicals that are being eliminated out of sunscreens as we speak by um, probably by this Biden administration. In Europe, they're already banned, um, in large part because they destroy marine life, actually. Uh, and Australia has recently banned them, uh, as I recall. And so we're looking for replacements. Now, one of the safest is titanium dioxide. So you can have those products. There's a, there are makeups, um, usually worn by women, that contain those. Um, our product actually is, is derived from uh, an organism that's resistant to radiation. Uh, and we put that into the product and it works really well. And we're hoping to have that come out uh, this year. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is just do some research and look for the chemicals that are banned in Europe and avoid those over here too in the US.